tonight I was supposed to edit our video <laughs> but didn't go as planned now I'm trying to code the game for an assignment that I have to deliver in a few days I have a test next week and I am a bit stressed about it this is pretty easy so all these are like a function I did my exam, it went well. Tomorrow I can work from home and I don't have classes. So I have Friday and part of the Saturday to just go and surf. As you can see, I'm in my car, ready to read and go to sleep. Let me give you a little sum up of the day. So I woke up in Pacifica, which is a place right below San Francisco and is usually a very beginner place because there are long waves, long beach, everything is sand, very safe and the waves are not too big. But this weekend is actually very different because, not different, but like, I've not been here with these kind of waves yet. So uh, this weekend there are very good waves pretty much all over the coast. And it's a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. But I got out, I think I did pretty bad, but I still had a lot of fun. And uh, after that I worked a little bit because I had to finish some stuff for my job. And then I left and drove to Santa Cruz. I arrived pretty much at 3 p.m., 3.30 p.m. and I just hang out a little bit and look at the surfers and this was pretty much for two reasons the first one i was freezing the there was sun out but the wind was so cold i was freezing i really didn't want to put on the wetsuit wet so i tried to wait a little bit to let my wetsuit dry but it didn't work anyway the second reason is because the waves were huge i would say three four meters and very powerful so i was looking at the surfers and i was like damn i don't think i can do that and that's why i was not going in but then obviously you know i drove all the way and i'm a bit stupid so i wanted to try and i tried and i got in and i was like excited pumped because the waves were big and fun so i said okay this is my opportunity let's go let's see how it is because finally there are some good waves that i can try to surf on i went to a spot that is called steamer line let me tell you how this spot is 
design. So the waves come on the right and they stay close to the uh, rocks. If you want to catch a wave, you stay on the right. If you don't want to catch a wave, you stay on the left. And then you paddle out and then you get inside and you take the wave. So what happened? After two minutes I was in, I am on the right. I don't want to catch any wave. I'm not ready and the waves are big. So I'm paddling. And then a set of three huge waves comes on the right. And no one was ready for that. So the wave crashed like 20, 25 meters ahead of me. And when like the foam, the white part hits me, like was so powerful. And even if I did a duck dive, even if I tried everything, no, just, it was too powerful. I just like got like pushed back and was so powerful. So I got out from that and there were two other waves like this coming at me. So once that set was finished, I was done. And I also got a little bit scared because, you know, like the wave crashed 20 meters away and was that powerful. And I was like, what if I try to catch it and I fail? Pretty much got zero waves and I did a very, very bad session. And I was shaking like a baby because it was very cold and scary too. At the moment, I'm still in Santa Cruz and tomorrow morning, I'll probably wake up and try again. Boom. Mm -hmm. 